Hey, Brian Young, ProTinkerToys.com, ProTinkerToys.com. This is another car. We just got these cars. They're called Graveyard Cars. Uh, you know how you all, they're called Barnes Fine Series, Barn Fine Series. So basically, you know how you've seen these videos where these guys have had these barns and they're filled with cars from, uh, you know, last 40 years that are, that are basically rusting away because the guy probably died or didn't realize what he had. Well, so the, what they've done is Auto World's taken these cars, barn farge cars, and they've taken classic cars and they've made them look like they're rusty or they've been sitting in a warehouse forever, forever. And this is basically a T-Jet. It's called the Thunderjet Ultra G, okay? And this is the modern version of the Thunderjets from the late, from the late um, uh, 70s, or well, late 60s, early 70s. Thunder Jets were my favorite car because these are the ones I told you that were the most realistic. I had a girder and panel set, and I'm going to do a video on that, how you take girder and panels and inter intermix it with a, 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 a Thunder Jet set. So this is the Thunder Jet car. It's just very classic. I remember this from the 1970s. This is your clip. It's an advanced version of the um, uh, the other cars I was showing you, the, the Ultra Gs, Okay. Um, and, uh, these cars are called the bar barn and find. All right. A simple, it's just a simple chassis. Now I can't because the guide pin is, uh, in with the car. Uh, um, it's built into the car. See the guide pin. All right. So let's see here. Oh, the guide pin came off. <laughs> so we're going to need to put the car back together. That is the car. And this one is the 1970 Dodge Challenger, okay? 1971 Dodge Challenger, okay? So let's put this back on the chassis here. On Yeah, the body and the body on the chassis and the chassis on the body. Okay, let's get that screwed in there. These are why I, I had so much fun. I'm going to tell you a little secret. I had so much fun with these. I used to take these... <laughs> I, I probably shouldn't tell you, but I would take these and I would dip them in. No, I'm not going to say it because it was so fun. These things have a smell to them when you, when you race them a long time, you get them running like this, put some oil on them. Oh my gosh, they would smell just, it had a smell that would make, you'd want to go, you want to get back on the track and race again. So this is, oh my God. So this is Barn Finds Graveyard Cars uh, Series. Look at that. Look at how these cars drive around the track. They're just beautiful. I mean, you just can't buy a better better set of cars than the, the Auto World cars. I mean, they make a great car. So there's six different cars in the Barnlard series. You have a 1970 Dodge Charger, or Challenger, a 1969 Dodge Charger, a 1966 Volkswagen Beetle, a 1959 Chevy Impala, a 1941 Willys Coupe Greaser, and a 1958 Plymouth Belvedere. Okay, let me tell you about the Belvedere, okay? Where, where is it? Where, where, give me that one right there. Give me that one. Okay, so I'm going to tell you something about this car. The Plymouth Belvedere. Okay, it happened in 1978. I was in, I was in high school. And a, one of the girls in high school had a car like this. This thing was a tank. I mean, it was. It had to be 25 feet long, 10 feet wide. We ran into a tree, okay, coming out of something. I can't remember what it was. It was over by the Historical Society in Bowling Green, Ohio. Ran into a tree. Nothing happened. to this. this thing was a tank, a tank. This thing is so huge, you could put 50 people inside of it. Anyway, that's just a story. Uh, but anyway, this is the Graveyard Series. The Great Drive Card Series Barn Find, um, and uh, um, another great series from Auto World. They make great cars. You want to have a fun set with your kids, get one of my race sets, buy a bunch of these cars, add them to your collection. You know what it is? You want to add a car to your collection. You know, it's all about fun. You know, I don't care if you have... Uh, um, a gaming system, Xbox, where you have 50 games. These games can go away. Cars, they just you just add them, add them another collection. And the way you cut your boxes here is you want to cut them neat on the bottom here so you can really just unpop them here like this. So all you're doing, and then when you're done racing, pop it right back in here like this. Look at that. 
right back to original packaging. And they even stand up too. So all your cars can be lined up to where you can pop them out and then put them right back in the case. So you're keeping the overall packaging. So don't forget, we're going to do a video on each one of the cars. So you're not running it, but watch this video for how the cars act. They'll all be the same. ProTinkerToys.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe.